Hi my super sweet crafty friends, welcome to my channel Carolina's Creations Handmade. If you're new please subscribe and click the bell button down below so you don't miss my videos. And today I want to share with you a mini album that I made for Father's Day. I'm calling it a toolbox tin mini album and it's not only super easy to make, it's also super inexpensive and this would make a great present for Father's Day and also you can give it as a masculine present uh, for birthdays or any other occasion and this would be something that a guy wouldn't mind having on his desk and it can be used for pictures and it can also be used to hold business cards and this would also be a perfect item to sell at your craft fairs so I'm going to show you here how to make it and you can see you can hold a lot of pictures here or business cards it holds 18 pictures in the box and then on the lead as you see there you can hold a gift card and then use it to hold another picture and here are the materials that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using this copper tube straps and I bought those at Home Depot they're a three quarter inches and I'm going to be using these spare parts um, these are buttons I was trying to use the screw ones, but I couldn't find them. And I'm also going to be using these knots. They're 5 sixteenths of an inch. And I'm going to be using E6000. And you can see those supplies can be used to make several different ones. I'm also using this metal tin. And inside, I place what we're going to need for the lid. So you can see you can make several of them. And I'm going to be using cardstock. I'm using this heavyweight cardstock. And here you can see how much I spent on the materials. And you can subtract a dollar and some in here because I didn't use some of the screws. So it's super inexpensive. And now I'm going to add E6000 to what's going to be the handle of my lead. And then I'm going to try to place it wherever I want it. Try to make sure that you place it so that you don't have to move it around a lot because you're going to smudge the glue all around. Doesn't it look so cute? Well, <laughs> I don't think I, it would be cute for a guy, but it looks so awesome. And I'm going to apply glue to the side here where the hole on the handle is. And then I'm going to apply a bunch of glue to my knot in there. And then I'm going to try to place the hole of my knot matching the hole on my handle. And I'm going to do the same with the other knot. I'm going to apply a bunch of glue and then I'm going to match the hole of the knot with the hole of the handle. Let it dry a little bit and then um, you can kind of like move it around if you need it. Now I'm going to apply glue inside the knot on the top area and I'm going to fill it up and then I'm going to place my little button brad that I'm going to be using as the screw. These are button brads from the paper studio that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to repeat the process here. I'm going to place my little brad inside the knot and look at how awesome it looks. Does it look amazing? And it's so cool for a guy or for a father. I think this would be awesome. So now we're going to need two 4x12 pieces. So I'm using craft cardstock. You can use any color you like. And you're going to score at two and three quarter intervals all the way through the end of the piece. So we're going to score at two and three quarters and then I'm going to fold my cardstock and I'm going to flush it to the edge of my scoreboard and I'm going to score again at two and three quarters. I find that, that this way is easier for me and we're going to fold it accordion style as you see me doing there. Then turn your piece around and then you're going to score at two and three quarters again. And we're going to keep doing this again, fold accordion style. And we're going to score again at two and three quarters. And we're going to be left with a flap and we're going to be using this flap later. So fold it accordion style. And once we have our piece, we're going to score that little flap at five eighths. And we're going to have two pieces like this, but make sure that you only score the flap on one of the pieces. 
And then we're going to round the corners. So I'm using a Fisker sponge and I'm going to fold my piece. And this is my second video for my 10K subscribers giveaway. Please make sure that you do not answer the questions for the giveaway down on the comments below. Look for the questions in the video and email me the answers to the email that I posted on my 10K giveaway rules video. You also have to like this video and leave me a comment down below regarding the video. And now we're going to fold our little flap accordion style as you see me doing here. And once we have it like that, we're going to have our first accordion. So you're going to do the same process to the second piece except scoring the little flap as you saw there. And now we're going to glue the two pieces together. And we're going to use wet glue for this. So apply glue to the little flap in there, the one that is not scored. And then we're going to join our two pieces together. And we're going to burnish to make sure that our adhesive sets properly and our piece is not going to come apart. So we're going to have plenty of places here for pictures or business cards. I'm going to apply 3 8 double sided tape to that last fold out there on our tab. And then I'm going to burnish it to make sure that it adheres properly. So burnish it and now we're going to fold it again. And it's time for us to adhere our piece to our tin. And you can see here, you can extend your whole accordion piece out so you can look at everything you have inside. Or you can just fan the pages as I did at the beginning. And now I'm going to punch photo corners for my pages. You don't have to do this, you could leave it the way it is and then just glue pictures. But I want to use the um, photo corners because it's easier for guys to use it that way. And you're going to need 64 of them for the bottom piece. And I'm going to use 1 8 of an inch double sided tape for them. And then I'm going to start placing them on all the pages. You can use wet glue instead of the double sided tape and it will make it a lot faster. But I like using the double sided adhesive. And now I'm going to use my punch to round the corner on our first page. And then I'm going to use my scissors to round the rest because the punch is not going to be able to go through all the pages. And here's what we had left. So awesome. <laughs> and now we're going to adhere our piece to our tin. And this is going to be a little bit finicky. So remove the backing of the tape. So I'm going to place my piece in and then I'm going to try to adhere the adhesive piece as flush as I can to the edge of the tin. It's not going to go all the way to the edge, but push it as far as you can get. And this is what we're going to have. Our little mini is almost done, but we're going to burnish that area there that has the adhesive flap to make sure that it doesn't come undone. And we have the bottom piece completed. Look at all those little pages. A lot of business cards or pictures can be placed in there. And these are perfect for guys. And finally, I'm going to adhere a four by two and three quarter inches piece to the inside of the lead. And I already applied photo corners to this piece. Once I adhere it, I'm going to make sure that I burnish all over it so it doesn't come undone. And this is going to be perfect to place a gift card. And then once removed, the person can use it for a picture or for another business card. I hope you guys liked my toolbox tin mini album and I hope you tried making one. And thank you guys so, so much for your love, all your beautiful comments, all your prayers for me. You guys have lifted my spirits so immensely and I so appreciate it. You are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so much. And thank you for watching. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And 
Thank you to all of you, my super sweet crafty friends, for your love and support. I hope you guys are doing great, and I hope to see you back here soon for another video. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Mwah.